know, we like to brag on the out-of-body experience. But I'm in the body. Yeah. Yeah. Right? I don't want to be out of my body. It's too much confusion. Y'all ain't saying too much. Why? Don't want to get out of the body and then can't get back in. But it's hot time even now that we examine ourselves. I don't want to be in the church vacation because there's going to come a time that you're going back. There's going to come a time that you're not satisfied. You know, I've been on a cruise before and it was like a three day night. After about the third day, I said, wait a minute, it's time for me to get back to Florida. <laughs> I'm out here in the waves and a whole bunch of unstable stuff and I don't want to touch down on land. Sometimes you can be in the church and things seem like they're unstable. Yeah. Look like you had it better in the world. Yeah. But sometimes the revelation of God don't come on land. Right. It come in the water. Right. Right. Peter was in the boat, you know. But when he stepped in that wall, with God, he realized that with God, all things are possible. Glory to God. So tonight, I want us to pray. You know, every now and then it's good for emotionalism and things of that nature to get happy. But at the end of the day, I don't want all the jumping and the shouting and the preach pastor and all those different things that we say. But then I don't truly examine myself to see whether I'm in the faith. Because just because you're in the house don't mean you're in the faith, right. you're in the body. Right. Amen. I want to be at home. I realize the children of Israel had a destination after the promised land. But sometimes the wilderness can get a little wild. It forces you to have a relationship with God. Yeah. Children of Israel said, we don't have no more bread. What are we going to do? Said to Moses, it was better for us <laughs> when we was in Egypt be having to trust God in the position that we don't know what we're going to eat. And then after the Lord rained the manna, they said, the flesh pots taste better. Oh they said, we remember the cucumbers, the garlics, the melons. You know, the manna, it didn't have no particular taste. It didn't taste good. But it said that manna was everything that they needed on the inside. That's right. But sometimes, when you're like me, you don't eat for health. You eat for taste. But in the church, I'm going to eat the whole roll. Even the stuff that don't taste good. You know, uh, I believe the scripture declared in Revelation that the Lord told, I believe it was Apostle John, one of the angels, he said, eat the book. He said, book, went in bitter but then it sat in sweet sometimes it don't taste good on the entryway but it's good for you and so tonight we need contact with heaven so that we can determine that I'm not just on vacation in the church but I truly have escaped the great escape the scripture declare you don't want to be free, and I'm paraphrasing, but entangled again. Good God, my So tonight, let us stand. And we're gonna pray. And those that truly want the Holy Ghost, need a touch from God, need revival in your soul but sometimes we can go through the emotions of things Pastor Vader sometimes we can just look like we okay but then on the inside we're screaming for help 
Let us pray. Father, in your name, Jesus. Those of you, if it's okay, that are seeking for the Holy Ghost, why don't you come? Why don't you come to the altar? Thank you, Jesus. Lord, I believe God gonna do something here tonight. I'm seeing something, Pastor Blair. I was in him in South Carolina yesterday, and folks are hungry. God might have felt the whole thing. Hungry for the truth. Starting to work out there, Pastor Blair. We've been doing street ministry and we got a building out there, just a little community center. So we had our first service on last night. And one of the sisters said to me that there was a preacher that called, uh, and called himself prophesying. After he quote unquote prophesied and said what the Lord said, he said, That'll be $250. And she asked me to pray over her house and prayed. As I got on the road back to Savannah, and I was telling one of the ministers what happened in the house. I couldn't do nothing but cry because it hurt me to my heart that a preacher would try to abuse the people of God in that fashion. We're living in a dangerous time, and, and I'm so grateful for men of God that will just tell the truth and nothing but the truth, even sometimes the people of God hurt because somebody really want to be saved. Every now and then, the pastor can't be worried about how you feel. You got to give you what the Lord is saying. And I believe tonight that God going to do something special. Church, pray with me for these that are at the altar. We're going to believe God. That's the place of
just desire your prayer, why don't you come? Maybe you're just saying, I just want to close the walk with the Lord. I just want to. I just want to be in a place with God that I've never been before. Oh, God. I feel such a power of God in this place. Thank you, Jesus. Uh huh. Yeah. Thank God. Thank you. Uh huh. Thank you. I thank you, God, for the babies. Hey, Jesus. God, it doesn't matter the age. Lord, fill the cups of these. You say out of the mouth of babies and such. Hey, I'm going to Let's protect and praise. Come out of their mouth.
a mighty power and fire. In the name of Jesus we come to you right now. Father God, we come to you, Jesus. Because you're the only one that can help. You're the only one that can deliver. You're the only one that can set me. We look to thee right now as we are being for God to call upon the nation of the cross. Lord Jesus, we see what is happening. Jesus. We see what has been done right now. Jesus. We see the conspiracy right now. Jesus. We see the plans right now. God, you are the all seen eye. You watch over your people. The eyes go to and fro throughout all the earth. There's nothing that can take you by surprise. But we thank you for the Holy Ghost. And as you feed us all this night, that which is the comfort and dear Lord, we stretch our hands to you. We ask you for mercy tonight. Mercy for the master. Mercy for the muscles. Mercy for the Thank <laughs> you. 